and welcome back to another w uh, episode with me, Mon Sky Vlog 2. Okay, so I spent a couple of minutes before recording uh, doing some stuff. I, I wanted congealed blood as this is a replacement for um, what do you call it, slimes and stuff. So, and I put a mini chest here just to house 64. I thought that would be easy to do. So I thought I'd quickly look at that, and yeah, I did not go blaze rod hunting because I did it for about half an hour, and nothing really spawned. It was just, yeah, not cool. So I've decided, oops, 13, I wonder if I can buy some more, but I have decided that I'm going to make a, um, what do you call it, a spawn room in the nether so it should hopefully spawn nethers and kill them. I don't know how they will react to being on that since it's um, three high. So I'm hoping it will work but if not I'll just get lots of stuff. I don't know how to spawn nethers yet, so uh, not nethers, um, wither skeletons. So we will have to look. Now, I need to find out what was my last one, and I'm pretty sure it was around here. Uh, okay, we're going to have to look for some that I haven't got. And go through this, because this starts off at spinach all the time. See, we have heaps. And I've got most of these. I don't know which ones I'm missing, which is rather annoying. Got, I know most of these. It's around here. Mm. It would be nice if I kept them in line, hey? Uh, cucumber, rhubarb, rooted winter. Winter squash I've got. Okay, cantaloupe, radish, chili, lettuce. Uh, I didn't see any peas, did I? No. I'm guessing I need them. I'm trying to fill that up too so I can make everything because to get your extra hearts you need to eat 50 foods. And I know I need uh, soybeans. Buy the soybeans. So, I don't think I saw celery. Probably never use any of them. Seaweed. Interesting. White mushroom spore. I wonder if I can actually use that and rice. I've got rice, sweet potato, leek. Okay. Now let's see if I can actually place. I know I can place all these in here. That's the easy part. But I want to know if I can place. I can place white mushroom. Cool. Because I know that's used for some decent food. Back out of emeralds. So, a little bit more, and then I can fill that up. And actually, I... That's why it's not picking it up. And that sand, I might have it out of. No, I'm not having that at appetite, so. Right, let's see what we're at with this. Uh, so we're roughly using the same amount that we're incoming with until we can upgrade it. Anyway, I actually wanted rice. Uh, or sugar. Uh, so we got two sugar there, but I don't think I put sugar in this down here. 
Saplings and apples. But I really need to focus on this. Because I really need some blaze fat. I need, I'm gonna get a big chest, a uh, storage crate. Yeah, if I actually, I do not have any. Uh, well, I have one here, and I have sugar in there. I have a spare one too. Um. Let's just go, if I can actually click, why isn't that sinking, did I, I don't know why that does that. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to do today is actually set up the crafter in this over there so I can auto craft uh, netherrack and then export the netherrack into here, or actually not that, into this system so it's not just sitting there. Um, and yeah, import it and export it. And why aren't you going? Oh, it's blocked. It's probably tried to put something in there and hasn't failed. And it's failed. So let's see what it was. Uh, God knows what it was. <laughs> it was a heap of stuff. That should clear everything out now. Whatever's left over, I'll have to make more storage drawers for. Which will be easy. Anyway, um, let's get back to doing this. So there's our importer, and we go boink. Import everything. And I'll use that as my storage for now. So I need to make vector plates, which is here, and I don't know why, I think that will do. Now I want the diamond spikes. Hold it to make like a heap of sticks. Oh, our creative spike. Mobs drop play, kill only items, experience, yeah, that's what I want. And one, two, and three. And there's four. That should be enough to do it, hopefully. I think I've found an issue. How, uh, how am I going to pick up all the items? Because a range collector requires power. Um, I don't have anything interdimensional at the moment. Interesting. And I think it 
use this 40 a tick. I could use an engine, um, a dynamo. Um, I'm just trying to think what else is in there that can be used. It doesn't matter, they will spawn no matter what, so I know. Ha ha ha. This. I was thinking of something else, and this will do the trick. Thank you. Of course. Okay. Born here.
probably, oops, I'll probably need more up there because the blazers, I just... Oh, I don't have any arrows. Oh my god, why? Okay, I'll go back and I'll make another set. Should be enough. Back to having air blocks. And there we go. What I'll eventually do is I'll add um, more Endar chests and import it into my network. So. Bye bye, gas tears. I seem to have lose you. with that roof then anything gets spawned. So let's make a heap and just outline the whole entire area with them. It will just be a mess um, more of that into nether. But that'll do. So let's grab probably burn through a lot of um, sugar this way but we can make Search this and grab the bloods. Oh, there we go then. Doesn't need to be super fast. I'm wondering. Oh, I'll need the chunk to load that area. I'm just wondering if that'll actually work. I know you can chunk load another area and use it, but I'm wondering if it will stay chunk loaded. It's a fairly big area. Oh, look at that, in between some chunks. It's not what I wanted. Should have checked that out. Oh well. So. thing that it wouldn't be able to get is ghasts. So
matter which way they go, just as long as they get pushed to the edge. So it will only matter on that one over there how it's handled, pushed into one line and then down. that spawns up here should be pushed down and then on and if they try and sneak off there we go Just to be evil. And there we go. So if they get up there, they'll fall down, come around. Now how many do I have left? Only 42 left, which probably won't cover all that. And there's stuff over here which will spawn. sit back and see if anything spawns and I'll be rather annoyed if nothing spawns there. So far, oh, there we go, one has spawned. With all the swords and all that other stuff that gets spawned with it, I'll probably end up changing uh, or dumping all the swords, um, having a filter what can be accepted into the network. So, I don't know 
I did that, but sure. I only really want that. Yeah. I only really want that area over there chunk loaded. So. This will probably fill up pretty quick. But. Can I jump on it? I can. There we go. Actually, not a bad sort, that one, either. What's mine? Seven. And that's a nine. And then the other one was in there was a ten. Well, give me that and that so I have some. Good way of gaining gold, I guess. Uh, okay, so that is pretty much it for this. I hopefully will come back. Oops with some, some form of, uh, well, some, hopefully some, of blaze rods and ag uh, magma stuff. See, this one here is 10. That's... Oh my, wow, okay. Um, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Let's try this. Well, let, let that run anyway. That's pretty much it. I was hoping to get some blaze rods, but now I'm, yeah. So, back to checking on the bees, which I can't go down that one. Okay, F7. There to give a little bit, so there's nothing to work on. No bees. I'm guessing seeds are still coming. Right, let's have a look at this. So that's working. This is working. The problem is this will fail if it doesn't get a stock out of it. So I'm letting it run to get combs. And then I'll try and get the required bees. I don't know the manipulation system like from uh, uh, Benny's genetics. So this is actually nearly there. So that's good. So let's see. Put away this. We have quite a few gold nuggets now. So. That away, that should go into the vector plate. So then, okay, so we really need more blaze rods, so hopefully that will continue on. Um, the mana pool is coming along nicely, so it's not going as fast as I would like it. Now, it's the wrapping up point in time, but I want to actually push myself to get to here because I, I really want to just dump the working of that system over there and just have everything come through uh, this miner down here because if I get that working I can actually set it to Eulorium and just stack up on Eulorium and all the other stuff that come with it so we need lead crystal we need the bit, uh, bituminous peat which actually requires some silky Polis. So, which is from Silky, which is, I'm pretty sure it's from your tropical, which I don't have any tropical bees. There are a few others. Uh, the stats just change. So, yeah. Okay. Well, that was the sticky, wasn't it? Let's try. Let's try sticky. Interesting. We, have, we can get it from Honey Drop in a fluid transposer. From Propolis. Uh, squeezing it from a Honey Drop. 
I don't know what that means. Do we get honey and propolis? So we get honey and we get a propolis and honey. Interesting. And in the centrifuge, we, if we do sticky cone. Okay, so we might try that if we get honey, but where's honey from? Uh, doing centrifuge stuff. Okay, so we can get it that way. The hardened coal blocks is just lots of coal blocks. Uh, the charcoal in the transmitter into this. Uh, oops, uh, that one. And the hop graphite is actually from the. Uh, we don't have it. It comes from hop graphite dust which is from your industrial squeezer so I'll need to get an industrial squeezer going uh, which is pretty easy it's just I probably need more pistons in the long run so but it should be easy to get I'll put this and this away which I actually could use later um, so yeah I can um, Ah, there's so much to do, so little time. Um, I think I might start pushing towards the uh, void crystals, um, getting all of it made. But the main one is is getting the extra mechanism stuff because this needs a crystal, um, and then you need a clean lead slurry, which is from a chemical washer, which is from water and lead slurry, and that's from a chemical distillation chamber. Which is from sulfuric acid, lead slurry, and lead blocks. And sulfuric acid is made in a chemical infuser, or this one, which probably just chemical infuser, which is water vapor, and sulfuric toxins. And this is made from another chemical infuser, which is oxygen and sulfuric dioxide, which is from this, the dust that we are getting here in another chemical oxidizer. So we're going to need heaps of them. To get that, we need a personal chest, we need enriched alloy, uh, advanced things, and yeah, so it is a massive push that we need, that I want to do. Um, if you look at the system, mechanisms down here. We're literally right here, so we could actually just push to it. This, we'll read that next one, but Industrial Forge has got some brilliant stuff in it. Um, because this reminds me of Mine Factory Reloaded. I'm pretty sure it was Mine Factory or Mine, yeah, Mine Factory Reloaded, which actually has all your spawning abilities and a few other bits and pieces in it. They've just renamed everything to a little bit weirder. Like this used to be the uh, Crusher, uh, the um, Mob Mob um, one, Mob Farmer, and then yeah, there's just a few other ones that you just notice. Resourceful furnace. There's your bioreactor if you want to go through that. Mob Ducator, which is pretty much this. I don't know if it's the same, but I remember having it magma cream. But yeah, and the plastics is a little bit different of actually getting. So we'll work through this anyway. Um, but this, I don't think we need anything in here to actually get to mechanic uh, to mechanism. So yeah, so mechanism. I think we may uh, just jump to. It doesn't look too hard. It just will take some time to get there. So, and I need more quartz. So, and I really want to set up an, uh, the quartz system as well, because if I can automate making quartz and just sending it straight over there, getting extracted and dumping straight into the thingy over here, because I actually need to make a lot more. So, I will quickly write down what I want to do next episode, which is pretty much sorting out all this here. I don't know why coal isn't being shipped over. It should be. Unless it's stuck again. No, it's not stuck. It's just not working. Interesting. Uh, did I break it somehow? <laughs> Stuff's gone in. 
stuff was moving in before. Wow, 53 diamonds. Now I've got 11 emeralds already. So I'm yeah, pretty sure it works, but... So it's not extracting all the stuff. Huh. Unless I broke it somewhere. Huh. Still connected. Not send an emerald across, but nothing else. See, didn't send the coal over. Just not sending the black quartz. Anyway, we'll sort this out in next next episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in next episode. Later, and have fun.